A sunny morning after a windy day, our cat Gumush entered the house with a little bird in her mouth and left it onto the floor. That was the first moment when we saw our little birdie purple who arose her neck from the floor and flapped her wings like screaming, I'm alive! We figured that the nest was dragged because of the strong winds the day before. Most probably our cat found her on the floor. While bringing the little bird to us, she didn't hurt her at all. We didn't have any experience with fledglings. We felt so desperate, but we were determined to do anything necessary to keep her alive. We anticipated that Purpur was a chick of white-eared bulbul and prepared some formula to feed her. Then our journey of feeding began, which was every hour from sunrise to sunset. In time, our worries faded away as we witnessed her passion to live. Ama ben işe was growing and learning so fast, which fascinated us. Day by day she was getting able to do some new tricks such as standing on the roof, jumping, cleaning herself, short distance flying, drinking water from the tap, bathing, playing. <laughs> While her abilities were increasing, the bonds between us was getting even stronger. Soon she became a family member. Our days started together with the breakfast ceremony, then bathing, some bathing, playing, exercise flying and napping. Since we were planning to release her when the right time has come, we made sure to expose her to the outside world as much as possible. Soon she learned going in and out by herself, enjoyed spending time in the garden, but she always came back and spent the majority of her time in the house. <laughs> One day, like any other day before, she went out the door and never came back. After a couple of days, we had to accept that she had flapped her wings to an independent life. We still miss her so much and will never forget her. <laughs>